face. Getting into Dill's face is going to be tricky, but once he gets in there, he has to punch in the clock. Three, two, as in, put in as much work one, as he can go. with the opportunity he's been given. Yeah, Robin's a character that, like, he's a big boy, so if you're able to rush him, you should do pretty well versus him. Uh, like, Krom on, like, when they have stage, when you're just playing the neutral, I definitely say that, like, Rob is a little bit scared of Krom. He's been uh, swinging around, and he's an airbender, flying all over the place. Everyone's mobility is really high. And Ooh! Wow, that must have been DI dependent, right? I didn't see what actually linked into it. I think it was jabbed to Fold Smash. Ooh, that might just be because like he didn't have a lot of rage, so he didn't knock oh, him far, and Rob job. is a big target. Yeah, just barely not able to make it back. And a really good early stock for Bao, but as you see, that recovery is one of his biggest problems. Uh, it seems that uh, Dill does not need the gyro shenanigans to punish it. He's just using those disjointed moves of his, like the forward smash, to just make sure that as soon as he gets close to that ledge, he's already back off stage. Yeah, like gyro isn't something you can like really force out. So you're gonna want to like once you have the time to put it out, it's like okay, cool. I am now establishing greater stage control. You know, but if you stay in on him, you know, it's not really an option. I oh, also love the tiny bits of option coverage that uh, Dill is showcasing. Also, his forward air, because it seems that it comes in, or like Rob's forward air occupies this space that's kind of awkward for Krom. Yeah, his forward air, you know, since his forward air like shoots straight out, uh, it's like probably the worst thing that like Krom would want to, uh, going against an aerial, because he's just like, oh, oh god, I'm not going to get any air from this? That's That's not good. Yeah, not only that, but Krom in general kind of likes, sort of likes to do later aerials. Um, oh, great stall there. Avoiding getting spiked by that upbeat. Um, and now we have a, like, once again, this game is neck and neck, totally even. But these earlier, at least for the past two, the past stock, uh, Dill's early punish game has been really on point. Oh, he gets the reset, continues the combo. Good grab out of shield, finding that opening. And now let's see. How, I, I, okay, I love that gyro. He throws the gyro in the middle, and that basically completely halts Bao's pressure because he throws the gyro and then goes to the right of it. And considering he's already low to the ground, Ooh. all right, yeah, uh, it ends up cleaning up that stock. Bao played really well, but I think by the end, the disadvantage for Dill just improved immensely to the point where he was no longer really getting zero to death, no longer really having those huge, huge uh, stocks being lost. Yeah. You know, that's what Dill's like really good at doing. It's just that like, he, like, you, if you notice a lot of the time, Dill will actually end up losing game one because like he's like absorbing a lot of information on how his opponent is moving and going in for certain punishes. So once he's like confident, like Dill, Dill is like a really interesting type of rushdown. I like to think of it as like a brawl kind of rushdown because what it's just that? like uh, it's because like in brawl since you didn't really have a lot of strings, it was just like okay, I need to wait for my window. But when I have my window, I'll be optimal, you know. And because you just play a lot of the neutral. Uh, you know, you just go, okay, checking the boxes, checking the boxes, seeing how he's reacting to this, this, that, and that. Uh, and now, once you, once he's, once he can apply that information, he kind of just like goes in. And Rob is such a character that just kind of tries to suffocate you. He just puts that pillow on you and he will not let go. <laughs> just end of one floor of the cuckoo's nest. Uh, I'm actually loving yeah. the mix-ups on the recovery from Bao this time around, using air dodge a lot more. Super risky thing to do, but considering that at this point, Dill was kind of conditioned to throw out those immediate moves, uh, it's been working out really well for him. Probably he'll have to, once again, mix it up. Bah, uh, I, that's so silly. That's so silly, though. Yeah, Dill hanging on to his jump so he could, like, burst up with an aerial. Uh, he's just trying to bait you. He doesn't want to grab the ledge because he doesn't really gain anything from that. And if he has to back off it, then he's in an even worse position. So he's just like, hey, you want to edge guard me? Let's play this game. All right, good job fading back there. Managing to get that punish. 
okay, yeah, that's the big downer that we were talking about before, but so far, Bao has not gotten hit by it at all. He's been doing a good job of avoiding that option, at least. But now he has to actually find a kill. Yeah. And this is something where, like, when Dill has a lead like this, it's at times it feels unmanageable. Like, he's... When he is playing on that sort of... He's defensive and also knows that you are trying to get a kill, he's just... It feels like he tailors everything he does exactly to counter your game. And an up air out of disadvantage takes Bao down to his last stock. Dill is looking like he's in a great position to take this set. Yeah, like a common thing that will happen to a lot of people is that when you're trying to make something happen really fast and you come back, someone like comes back from a stock, you're like, okay, I need to rush him dying to get this, uh, uh, the, this damage now. Then you're hitting them at low percent. You might be negative on hit. And just like that, Bao lost the second stock. to the gyro. I kind of like this idea. Oh, he's Whoa. dead. Hilarious. Yep. And that's going to be 2-0 for Dill. He's going to be moving on a winner's bracket. Uh, next game we have coming up for stream, it's going to be a delightful one. H-O-3-K John Numbers versus DA Stretch. Cool. Uh, 